uh, lost. Well, lab zone. It, uh, that thought zone doesn't look lost. It, it, it's, in fact, it looks pretty obviously seen from here. Hey guys, it's come here and welcome back to Sonic 4 Episode 1. Last time we started this advent adventure off, up and now we we're gonna finish it. Yeah, I actually mean it. We're actually gonna finish it because this isn't a super long game. Game in my wings. Oh. In, in fact, since there are only four zones and episode two has four zones, that technically, mean, technically means episode four is gonna, has eight zones. I mean, I mean, all of Sonic 4 has eight zones. Or, or what wasn't gonna. Or was it gonna have more than than that? The reason the reason I say that what is because the original plan for Sonic 4 was to have make a free a complete trilogy, a complete yeah a complete trilogy, so that there actually was gonna be a Sonic 4 episode three gonna come. <coughs> yeah, and yeah, and it was originally gonna be released in in I think 2015, but. It just never came. Hey man, that that actually kind of sucks. Be probably because the one of the four thing up so. Uh, probably because one of the games didn't sell well. But nah, I actually know the reason, some why it got canceled. But I don't remember it off the top of my head. I think some user or something spoke with someone about it. I'm I'm not 100 percent percent sure. Sorry, but. I, all I know is that some guy about it spoke to some other guy about it. About it is it? Hey, but uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna try to figure it out now. No, but, but yeah. In fact, if there was an episode three, we probably know what would be in it. Uh, well, one, it would have first of all the characters who would be in it. It would have Sonic. Entails obviously because those two were, were in the pre in episode two. Hey, Eggman, obviously, you need to have the villain, most Metal Sonic, most likely. Who knows if he's still alive? From, well, we he is still alive because he's in Team Sonic Racing and Sonic Forces inside. But I met, met after the from well, you'll see what I mean if from when it, once we do episode two. And it would also have Knuckles the Echidna. Can't forget about that good old Knucklehead. And so, it what would have had him him in it? But and probably eight new HD new uh, new looking versions of the Sonic Free and Knuckles special stages. Just just but which would have been that would have been like really cool. Oh, I, oh, and I'm so upset. I'm a little, really upset now that they didn't make an episode. They have never made an episode three. But, oh, maybe one day they'll actually will ma make it. But, but seriously, come on. All because some user spoke with someone about it. And, uh, I'm so not. However, it was, they decided to cancel it. Uh, or maybe there was something else. Maybe there was probably something else. I'm not. I'm leaving out that I'm just not remembering off the bat. Yeah, but oh well. That's not not important right now. Now, if they ever do an episode, f make it do, have, seeing, having an episode for you happen right now is not important. But it would complete the trilogy. In fact, if they if they act, in fact, when, at the end of this episode. Uh, at the end here, we're gonna see something that will tell you that the adventure's not done. And then it's... Uh, and then, uh, uh, I'm just gonna get to that when we get to it. Which will be at the end of this episode, pretty much. Not, not... Well, yeah, at the end of this episode of this game episode and this YouTube recording episode. Oh, so... You you probably get what I mean. I, I don't wanna keep confusing you guys throughout this. Because... That would just be t way too confused because it may just sound too complicated at the moment. And, but yeah, yeah. So we only have one more chaos and we'll left. If only we did get that. Uh, if only we didn't screw up on that fifth special stage. 
We actually would have had all of them. And it's actually good, best to try to get them as fast as you can because this act here is called World of Darkness. Basically, you're holding a torch, even even when you're jumping, or spin dashing. Spin dashing looks pretty cool. It's like you have a ring of Sonic has a ring of fire around him. And the reason I say you want to get the chaos almost as fast as you can is because this is a world of darkness, and when you turn super, you actually gl right, you actually start glowing so much that it's all the darkness just goes away. Right, it's kind of a bum. A bummer, but oh well. I haven't played this legit like this in a while. Without super, I haven't played this act in a without super form in a super form in a while. But and however, the mobile phone version of Act Two of Lost Labyrinth is completely different from the from this act that we're doing right now. You know, because instead of being in the world, this dark place. It's not completely dark. It's, there are some areas that have dark, have uh, light that have light. Oh, and there are mine cut right, right right here. Whenever you see a jump, jump over it. If you don't make the jump, that's all right. There'll be a spring bouncing you up. But when you get launch out of a mine cart, hold right because if you don't, you're, you're you're not gonna fly far enough for a word. You're not word word because it's. So actually, that's not a good place to demonstrate. Right, if I can get back on top of here, right here, because look, like that. I didn't hold right, left. See, look, like that. I would have kept moving. And yeah. Oh, don't hit. Oh, by the way, don't hit that torch though. That one's a death trap. That that's a trap torch because all those up. You can see the spikes of all the enemies. Because look. They all got popped out, and the lock on cursor disappeared. Brilliant. And once you, if you have super form, more Sonic in this level, the torch will be pretty much useless for the darkness. The only use you will have for the torch is to for the dynamite. Right, because like that right there, I can't. I can only use the light it for the torch. Right, nothing else can cause that. I'm asking to light up. And actually, you know, one thing I don't think I've ever tested out before is, is actually what sound like it looks a little dark in here for, to see, for you guys to see it. So I'm gonna get into an area of light to see if it actually still. Don't remember if it'll actually still hold the torch if he does it. And the. into a lit area. Not quite. Oh, and this area it's kind of like a puzzle. You actually have to light a certain one. One here because wait, let me look up. Mm. Just do that again. Need this one for the light. Darn it! If we did wait did wait too long. Alright, let's do it again. Okay, just needed that one. Now then we're in an area of light. See if the thing will work. So we have to get if it'll still hold the torch. Because basically if you stand around long enough, no, no long enough here. So I'm gonna start like, getting hmm, why are we not moving? Being you know, in a two D sound game you know, you know, all in those other sound games that we play, he would just be look like that from the start if you stand still. Yeah, when you wait long enough. Uh, oh, okay, he, he gets rid of the torch. And then he starts breaking the fourth wall when he has with, but he doesn't have a watch. Oh, John, yeah, he, that's. Then eventually he's gonna, gonna start laying down. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's about here. Yeah, let's not keep doing that. Yeah, I don't want to keep waiting around for that. In fact, probably better just do that in episode two. And uh, like holding up the torch, having the torch by his behind mind like that. 
Was that? I think that was burn. What's that? Burn you yourself. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> not sure. It's been a while since I've been near fire. Unless you count a campfire. <laughs> okay, I've been. We've been in this level long enough. I'm actually just focused through this a little faster now. Just hearing nothing but this music. Okay, anyway, something like. Okay, this act is completely different. Yeah, it is complete. Oh, excuse me. The, this act is completely different in the mobile phone version of Sonic 4 Episode 1. Instead of going for this, you're actually going in a bunch of minecart, riding a minecart maze. That, that is so confusing. Thing, and you have to make, make jumps to make go on to the next area. Yeah, yeah, until you reach the end. Which is actually kind of a cool level. With, another thing about the, I should have mentioned about the, uh, about the pinball, about mo, that love the mobile phone versions pinballer. The level for that was for Casino Street Act Two is that, and for the minecart level that I just mentioned, you can't get any chaos, a special stage in them. Um, so that's kind of a, kind of a downfall, for, oh, unfortunately. But that's not too big of a deal. You can still easily easy get uh, get to the other, the rest of the special stages without those uh, two acts. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Get, and now we're on to the final special stage. Hey, see, so, this, so this is pretty cool. Oh, you're, oh, oh. Now I'm gonna go in there because I'm referring to the red exclamation marks. Because that's no good. <laughs> you can see the chaos almost right in there. But we need a bunch of things to get there, and in order to get them, you actually need to go around in these four quadrants. Not where I want. Right, yeah, you need to go in these four quadrants to get a bunch of things. Up about 100 to be exact. And again, you also want to keep getting time so you can move up. It'll have a bit. Staying here longer, it gives you. So don't have to rush it. She has a. Uh, oh, you got the one a uh, one up. So that means we're about halfway. So we're only 44 left. So you and luckily, luckily you don't have to get every ring in the, in the special stage. Age, because if you would, that would be way too hard. All right, plus we don't need plus you don't need that kind of difficulty to get for the, for a special stage. Age, but it's only something for like a final boss or so. so that's really all you need it for. Okay, so 17 rings left. Oh, and here this is put good put in there. It has a lot of bumpers. So save the worst for last. Not usually it's the best for last, but no, nope, it's the worst for last. <laughs> That's about it. We got the seventh key awesome mode. If you replay the special stage, it will be a one up and not the key awesome mode. And actually, one of the achievements of the game is to get all rings in the first special stage. Luckily, I got that. You can now transform into Super Sonic. Transform by put collecting 50 rings and pressing X or Y. So, so that, so that's something that's also nice about, as that. So Sonic 4 Episode 1 was basically the first Sonic game to bring back Super Sonic, because and pretty much almost every Sonic game after this point, point has Super Sonic. Sonic Free Riders has Super Sonic. Sonic Colors has Super Sonic. Sonic Generations has Super Sonic. Episode four or Episode Two has Super Sonic. Lost World has Super Sonic. The only few games I know that don't have Super Sonic are the Boom Games, games and Team Sonic Racing, 
scene, and I think the Sega, Sega All Stars racing games games do too. I'm not sure. I've, the only one that I really played was All Stars Racing Transform. Or I'm so I, I don't know. So I don't know if the. I think the it might. I'm not sure. Duh. I'm trying to j jump high enough to get it through here. You know, and the only thing is that about wait, wait, so so something interesting about this is that the Lost Lava himself actually is the only axe that has water in it. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Oh, is it, you don't have to deal with water in Act One or Two. You had to deal with those rolling ball puzzles in Act One. In Act Two, you. Two, two, you deal with darkness, and actually you deal with water, <laughs> and this thing here that is from Hydro City Zone, and and everything. Lost Labyrinth is basically Labyrinth Zone from Sonic One, but this version's done better. In, in fact, act than Lab because you move, you move a little faster because of the air dash slash homing attack you get, and and. The control just feels a little better. Even though the control layout is pretty much the same as it was for... Oh, and actually let's turn super. And now, and we turn super, if you saw there, the one, the, the invincibility box turned into super form. Uh, uh, one up. So that's pretty cool. So now we're in Super Sonic. Like, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's, uh, you move so much faster than you would, would normally. You you jump so much higher than you do do normally. <laughs> and you don't you and all the in Super Sonic in the previous again uh, in Sonic 2 free and Knuckles. Oh yeah, in those games if you turned super, well you would still be able to drown. But in this game when you turn super, you don't drown. <laughs> oh, inter interesting. Thing, but hey, I guess. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, so you also get turned can turn super, but in Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. Uh, oh, this last puzzle was interesting. You still have the bottomless pit thing to go down. This infinite falling thing, slide. And what you're supposed to do is hit those two switches to get to the end. And, and, and getting to the door is a little tough. You have to jump like immediately after that platform. To get here. And now that we have Super Sonic, we'll just we'll try to use them as much as we can. And because, yeah, uh, we don't have all we have is one more zone, and then it's the end, the final boss. Oh yeah, uh, man, we can't get use any, the Chaos Emeralds in any of the boss fights. But that's all right. The acts are pretty fine. Having them in the acts are fine. Yeah. Yeah. Now this boss fight will be pretty sim seems similar. Seems seems like it's similar to the the labyrinth boss fight where you just follow Eggman to the end. If you're very skilled enough, you can outrun the water. If you touch like a tiny bit of the water, you can you basically can Yeah. If you uh, if you touch like a tiny bit of the water water when you you're basically losing Force of getting sucked into it. Right. right now we're up at the top and the fight would be over, but it's not. By the way, stand to the side here, jump right there, or I want to get a free head on him. But it doesn't. And don't worry, those walls are coming up. If you stand on them, they won't crush you. You, uh, I tried it myself. They don't crush you. And this is actually where more of the fight continues. Oh, where you Eggman will go into different quadrants of the area. Yeah, and you have to fit it, go in there with him or another one if there is. As otherwise you're gonna get crushed. And this is actually more of a boss fight, more of an original idea for the boss. Well, so luckily you only have to do two hits on him to get him. I also like how he, I like how he's still smiling, smiling even though you, you hurt him. Uh, even though he should be hurt, technically blown up. No, but it's kind of funny. So that, no. 
it's that labyrinth, so we don't have to go back there ever again. Unless I want to, to play it again. Any time, saving. Hey. Hello. <laughs> now in Mad Gear's own Eggman's secret base. Isn't no. And I really like the music in Act One. I don't know why. It just feels so. Oh, I feel like great. It just feels like yeah, you wait. You at near the end of the game. You can keep going. You know or something. I don't know. Oh no. Oh oh. Speed shoes. Music's going faster. Oh. That that slicer uh, oh, almost gets me because uh, thinking that think you have to move right to keep go, get onto the platform, but the slope the slicer's there to knock uh, knock you off. Uh, but uh, so the, that's all sometimes gets me, but not not always. Uh, now in Mad Gear Zone, which is basically Metropolis Zone from Sonic 2. Ooh, but uh, hey. And there are still plenty of enemies around that will try to attack you. There are those crab bots. There are those slicers, which are still a little tough to get to you. There are still those starfish robots that shoot their spikes out when they come near you. You, but it, we don't have any screws to run on. Well, I guess technically we do. We're not. We're not in this act. That is because. As well, we don't have any of them going up or down. And, and so that's nice. And there are a whole bunch of steam vents just pushing us back. Or that will push you around. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out for these crushing areas here. You know, because you don't want. Because you, you could possibly get crushed by them. So. Oh, there's a Star Wars robot there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's more always the event. How many? Oh, now we're coming to the end here. Yeah, this you stand. You, if you, you can stand on the ledge of that and start running. Darn it. <laughs> hmm. Well. Well, that's fine. We'll just go back there. We're not, Oh, yeah, it's not too big of a deal. The fact is not no not a big deal anyway, because it's pretty easy to get back there. You know, because all you can see, like, all the way back here. So it's actually best you know, you hang on the edge there and then just do a little air lash and start running. And that's how you're gonna get to the end here. And I didn't even use supersonic in the, that act, but that's fine. In fact, even if I don't use Super Sonic at all for the rest of this, that's fine. Because we saw him in Act... Because we pretty much saw him in Act... If we have lost Labyrinth Zone. So it's fine if we don't see him again. But I might, might do it for this Act. Actually... In fact, since... No, actually I'll get to that when we do... What I was about to say... What I was about to say, I'll get to it when we do episode 2. Which, oh, have these gears here you have to jump off of. Uh, and, and, and Act 2 has a bunch of platform switches you have to press that will open up a platform that you have to press in time. That w will go back into place and you have to press the button again, again at certain point. And it also has a bunch of screws you run on. But not like they... Not screws that you uh, that go up and down. You, ones that go from left and right, that go left to right. And actually, there are a few that move up or down, but you mo most common will be going left and right. I trying to jump up, but keep accidentally spin dashing. Oh, and here's a screw here. How this works is a little interesting. You actually have to face the opposite way you want it to go to make it run. It's kind of a slow start, but it does eventually pick up. Uh, taking an route that you don't really run. <laughs> okay, <laughs> made it through that. Nope. Uh, still going into a ball here. 
she actually works. Oh my. Oh, I repeat. Oh, never mind. So it's just run up. Run on the spin again. If I was supersonic, this would go by a little faster. I'm, I'm of course referring to it moving faster. Here that is because. Yeah, yeah, you get the idea. Supersonic moves faster. Oh, and another thing too about the mobile foam version. When you turn supersonic, Sonic doesn't. Uh, the super theme is actually the invincible. The supersonic theme is actually the invincibility thing. Yeah, kind of uh, strange if you ask me. Yeah. Oh, duh. Okay, good. So, there you know. You know what? Let's just turn super now. Because, oh. Just don't want to have one act left about it. Three at, the, at least we'll be doing. I mean. Being, no. Now we want to turn another switch. And we see, see what I mean. You go, you move so much fat. It's, it goes so much faster. Let's do that. So, so much more left to do. We're moving so fast. In fact, see how that. Oh, well, I, was, I did it again. I was trying to jump, but it wouldn't let me. Yeah, a bunch of slicers there. You have to try and avoid. It's a lot harder as. Like your normal Sonic, because you can easily you can get hit easier to as as normal Sonic. If I was, since I'm since I was Super Sonic, I don't get hit. The only thing that could kill me now is crushing or bottomless pet. Okay, now we're on to Act Three. Any time now. And you heard me, I don't know if you hear, heard me there, I was clicking the left bumper on the controller. And now we're in Act 3, which has this giant wall thing com coming to push you throughout most of the act. Not all of it, just most of it. And then you have to, it's kind of like the, what, for what we saw in La Lost Labyrinth, Act 3, and done it. I met. If you miss your timing on that air you know, dash right there, you're pretty much screwed. So at this point, just get crushed. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> I kept moving up the wall as it was cru doing that. Well, well, let's try this again. Get inv invincibility again! Keep a wait, time it. But yeah, we just got time that right. Now that thing wall won't come after us, but it will come back again. And yeah, and yeah, just get. Uh, yeah, these platforms you just move left and right here. Another thing too about that, since I, I mentioned that this is also on the Wii, but we uh, it's not available for uh, on as a, there was never a disc version of this or episode two. This, you know, this is only available for download. Oh, so that's so that's something you should keep in mind. Oh, by the way, watch out there, because if you don't just keep running forward there, you're gonna hit that enemy. Yeah, not no kidding. And, and yeah, as mentioned, episode one's also on the Wii as as a download also. And the thing, and what's nice, this is that a few nice things though about the Wii version is that I think the music's slightly more enhanced to be more more eight bit like, like because I think the one up sound is the same as it was for Sonic Three. Hey, so that's nice to kill. And plus, another thing is that the Wii version of Sonic 4 Episode 1 includes a save file, so you can have multiple files of on here. So not just one file that will have, and you just have to start a new game to get a new, start a new file. Oh, you know, it's, oh, so that's nice. And. That's, all that stuff's nice and all, and plus you don't even use motion controls. You just use the hold the Wii remote sideways and use the control, and you just use the control pad to move and the two buttons to jump and such. And you're actually probably better off not. It's actually better not best. You're actually best not getting the Wii version. And in fact, I don't know if you can still can because the Wii will shut uh, shut down at the beginning of this year. The reason I say you better off not getting it is because if you purchase episode one and two on the same version you got 
uh, got it on. And you get this little bonus for episode two called Episode Metal. And the thing is, episode two, episode two never came to the Wii. I, I don't know why it didn't. And but it could have. It could have came at the very end of the Wii's life, man. Uh, the and right before the Wii U had started. Because Mario Party 9 came out around at the same time as that as episode 2 did. Maybe I think it came out in Mar Mar March or so. Because episode 2 came out in May. Uh, and, but yeah, so if you want to just, if you're going to get episode 1, get on the, the any version of it as, except the, for the Wii version. Which I don't know if you still can, but oh well. And this boss fight is so similar to the Metropolis boss fight. The only difference is that those ball swings that you hit is that in Sonic 2 you could just jump into them and they would pop, but they're actually explosives now. Yeah, as you can see they're starting to blink red. And then if you jump into them, they'll blow up on you. But Eggman's still smiling, he's like, <laughs> I'm not finished yet. The rest of the boss fight is pretty much fun. It's pretty fun. And the Eggman's gonna be running away from you, and you have to chase after him. So what you want to do is do a bunch of air dashes, and try homing and attacking into him once you get to. And he's gonna eventually start shoot, shooting different ones out. Like he'll shoot a blue one out, out that will he'll bounce a lot faster. That like that though. He'll also shoot out a giant yellow one, which we didn't get to see yet see yet but that's all right maybe we'll see it in, in the final area yeah so fine so that's good uh, at the end of the mad gear zone and now we're gonna go, we're gonna face off big man once and for all This is it, Eggman. Prepare for another defeat. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. You just can't get enough, huh? Don't think you won this. Stop. Come back here. You're not gonna win this time, Eggman. <laughs> Hope you like my custom dialogue that I put there. <laughs> yeah. But the, okay, the first few lines were kind of copied lines I was trying to quote from Sonic 06 and Sonic and Liege. Liege, but Liege in the OS, I was just kind of making up as I go. And we're in the egg station zone, which is basically a boss, starts off as a boss rush. Because we have faced off with the uh, all the bosses that we faced off with before. But there are some different twists here, like the platforms here, if you step first step on them, then they start moving up and down. down. Yeah, um, and what I always like to do for that those is try to make them um, opposite of each other like a seesaw. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. Oh, and I forget what the twist is for this for this boss right, right that they added. Uh, maybe he drops bombs or so. I'm not sure. But hey, but I'm pretty much doing anything before he can land an attack on me. Me, so there's nothing we can do. In fact, well, almost all of this bot, uh, all, almost throughout almost all of this, is you just hear the, the pitch music of Eggman. Man, when you're fighting Eggman, huh? don't don't why well, could have just given it its own theme. You kind of do at the end. And but we, oh well, oh that's fine. Fine. In fact, in fact, a couple another difference is that. And those platforms come in a lot quicker than they normally would. Just push the wall, but can't push it because it's bigger than that. In fact, the pushing into a wall something is you can't pointless. Listen to this game. Now I'm going to the Mad Gear boss fight. And yeah, as you saw, we didn't even do the point where, in the beginning part of that phase where we just have to platform up to follow him. Same. Same goes with this here. We just go straight to the chasing Eggman thing. 
And the twist here that he adds is that he'll throw a spike ball on the ground that you, ha that you have to jump over, like that. And on the front, uh, wait. Oh, yep, there's the big one. <laughs> Run here. Run in. On the final head, head those, all those doors will start opening up. Uh, but wait, which is interesting. And then, you can't jump into him, but it's more of a foible to just hold me attack, yeah. Hack him. And the only way I could actually get Super Sonic again here is if you just somehow you cheat, crack a cheat code that will give you inf infinite rings, then you turn, that will let you turn Super. But right, now we're gonna finish, face up, have our final face down big man. <laughs> this looks familiar because we've seen it in Sonic 2. And the final boss is no one original, it uses the final boss of Sonic 2, the Death Egg Robot. But I do, bef this version I find easier, but more frustrating. Being easier because you have wings, so you can get, so if you get hit, you'll be fine. But more frustrating because as, as the fight get, because of, uh, later on, as the fight get, go, gets on in the fight. But the other, the Sonic 2 fight was, was harder, but it wasn't as frustrating. I mean, cause, Thing, because it was pretty easy to figure out as well as this because still doing the dip, dip in the sky down thing Little tip try jumping into him twice uh, You can do how you can do double damage. It's like just jump into him once and then do a homing attack right after um, and part, The reason you want to do that is because he's get his spikes His spike cams that he has up there was gonna go up it aims up if you're not quick enough and he almost got hit there Oh, and after we do enough hits on him, he's gonna get met electrifying. And this one, get this the fight gets so much more harder and frustrating. He's gonna uh, start running around like that, and you have to spin dash underneath him to get through. And this boss fight is actually quite hard. I had a lot of trouble on it when I first played this. This button, and now I can easily do it. And so once he does this little sky and dip down thing, get to the other side of the area, oh yeah, that other, other side of this area he's at. And if he's not, yeah, if he just does does what he does, just keep doing what, what I'm doing in here. So just get, get to the other side like this, because he's gonna launch one of his spikes up, up, up. and one of them's, them's gonna slowly come down. As it's slowly falling, it's gonna be come um, uh, turn off its electricity for a bit and a chance to get hit. But when it hits the ground, you can j have to jump into it three times in order in order to get it back onto Eggman, and then just uh, all the electricity wears off, and that's your chance to attack him. So uh, you want to keep doing your double homing attacks on him, and just try to get close to him as you can. But when he does that, but just don't do it too close, because then you might accidentally bounce you into him and get hit. But if you do get hit, use it to your advantage and try jumping to him as much as you can. Because then that will make the fight go by a little faster. But I'm doing it like this to show you, you know the proper way. After you do like eight hit or so hits on him, he's going to start trying to shoot you to make it harder. Okay, so look out for that. Mm, yeah. Right. Right. So what? So I think we're almost done with you. I could be wrong. Okay, now we still have a few more hits left. Yeah. And so, Spike's pretty, it is a little long, goes on a little long. Oh, that there you have to jump over. I think, I think this should be it. And for the final hit, hit he's gonna do, when he's gonna, the alarm's gonna go off. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna shoot in a random direction. What you want to do is either you know, jump over him, him or not, don't. Because what he'll do is he'll ground pound the ground so hard that it'll actually stun Sonic. And you have to attack him right away after that. Because if you don't, you're gonna get the ground will crumble and it will count as a death. And you have to redo do the final that boss over again. And so that's something you should do. Look out, boy. And make... Yeah, um, yeah.
And if you make it through that fight without getting hit, you get an achievement called Untouchable. And if you saw there, I was jump at that point there, I was jumping. What excuse me, that segment right there is that it's actually an interactive segment. You can't move with left or, you can't move, control Sonic where he's moving. He's always moving forward, but I can control when he jumps. And there were a whole bunch of rings there, and I was trying to collect them all, but I missed a few. And if you collect all of them, you actually Sonic actually turns super super and you get a pulp. Oh, and uh, that he'll just pose, and that'll be, that'll be a cooperation with Dimps. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for Sonic 4 Episode 1. Oh, yeah, pretty alright game. And what I really like it. I do come back to it every once in a while. Yeah, overall, I think it's pretty solid. Oh, yeah. May get bored very kind of quick, but you can do a bunch of challenges of your, yourself to a bunch of stuff. Stuff that you can come up with on the way, like see how far you can go without using a homing attack. Uh, right, go see if you cannot go, try to run at your top speed. Go try using spin dash as much as you can. Yeah, no such. Huh. But hey, now that we finished episode one, next we'll be doing episode two. In fact, how we how we will be starting with episode two will be a little bit different. We're not gonna just immediately start the story off because, as I mentioned at the end of Mad Ge Act Three of Mad Gear, you know, there was this episode Metal, which chronologically takes place after, after in between episode one and two. You know, which it would make sense when we actually see it, which we'll be starting off with episode one. Starting off of it when we do episode two next. So. So at this point on, we're just watching this game in mm, the credits roll. So this game I would give a recommend, and it maybe have it, the, the, the momentum maybe have some problems, but those problems can be ignored. It's not like you can get where you need. I can't get where I need to go. And I also don't mind all about uh, all, about all the dash pads that are there, because it's like who cares? They're dash pads. Yeah, it's like you're going through a loop to loop in the old games where you, the moment where you just don't play for a bit and you just have a fun thrill time going through it. So and it makes the game you feel like I'm going through the game faster, which I always like seeing that. Or at least I do. <laughs> oh and I won't have any bonus videos here or show. Oh but I might have one for episode two. Who so I'm probably, I probably will be on it. And well, it looks very, very out of focus. Very, very out of focus. Cause the I'm looking at this through the camera. It showed Sonic not looking too good there. You could hardly recognize him. Okay, now you can see Eggman, which looks a little better, but not too much. Whoa! What was that? It looked like Metal Sonic. To be continued? Yeah, this game is supposed to continue on. Why well, it's to, because it's an ep episode Sonic game. Game, so. Uh, I guess we. I guess at this point I'll see you all next time for when we do episode 2. So, see you all next time. And I guess it's supposed to press A to continue.